Hi, I'm Jim Calari. I'm Editorial Director of Plastics Technology Magazine. I'm here today with Mark Haney, Drying Product Manager of Novatech. We're going to talk a little bit about resin drying. So Mark, why don't you give us the 101 on what resin drying is, why it's important to plastics processors, what are some of the current and long-standing limitations to the technology, and what you have here that may provide a solution to solve some of those issues. In, in plastic processing, I can tell you that nobody in the business really wants to dry. They dry because it's an absolute necessity. If you don't dry the material, you have material defects, you make bad parts, you have dimensional changes in the materials. So those are the kind of things that make it so drying is a necessity. Unfortunately, one of the real limitations in this is that unlike anything else that we've ever encountered in our lives, in this, people will tell you what they want to come out of the bottom of the drying hopper. They tell you the moisture content that it has to be, but they leave open that there's a requirement for a moisture coming in in order to design the drying hopper, the airflow, and all the things that must go along with it. If you don't know this piece of the equation that everybody has left out of it, you have to design this for the worst case scenario. So what we decided is since nobody can really tell you adequately what the requirements are on the front end so we can design the rest of it, we were going to come up with a tool that gave us that information related to the drying system and simplified the drying process for the processor. So the dry genie here is a capacitance type moisture probe. The capacitance probe, um, by measuring capacitance and temperature, you can measure and come up with the moisture content of the plastic. We know what's going on inside the material here. We also want to know what's going on in the room. So up in here we have the relative humidity and the temperature within the room. So not only do we know the mo current moisture content in the Gaylord, we can gauge what the moisture content gain is going to be over the course of time with knowing the relative humidity and temperature in, in the environment. Then we can predict what the moisture content is going to be necessary for processing. By knowing this, uh, we can adjust the airflow, the temperature, and all the parameters within the drying system. The real impact of this isn't just that I can save you a couple, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a year in power. What we can do is we can give the machine more machine utilization. We can give you more hours of production from the equipment. Because conceivably you could be drying less as a result of making this measurement Almost always, front. because when there's less moisture in the plastic, there can be less drying necessary. And instead of maybe taking the cookbook four hours recipe in order to do the drying, we may be able to lower that by an hour, two hours. That's one or two hours more processing time of the equipment, which can add up to thousands of dollars in, in a very short period of time, much more than just the energy alone. Mark, thanks very much, very informative, good luck. And thank you all.